Christian. History was written when the Kenya Television Network, the first free-to-air, privately owned television channel, was launched in February 1990. At the launch, KTN broadcast on channel 62 and only had a reach of 60 kilometers radius. In Harare, a letter bomb exploded last night at a house believed to be used by South African exiles. Reports from Bonn say that Oscar Lafontaine, badly hurt in a knife attack, field officers must encourage the boards of governors to ensure that these vital facilities were provided in all schools. Good evening, I'm Jeroge Mwaura. Israeli President Chaim Herzog has asked transitional Prime Minister... Five exile leaders of the ANC arrived back in South Africa yesterday for the talks. The quest to reach a wider audience led to the purchase of more broadcasting licenses. Within a year of its inception, KTN had already positioned itself as the most trusted, bold and authoritative television channel. It became the go-to source for news. And at the height of the clamor for multi-party democracy in the country in the 90s, KTN journalists were on the front line reporting on the developments. For us, it's business as usual. We are now setting out on a mission to establish the different faces of Christmas Day. Join us.